What? What? How did I miss this? How did I miss this? Jasmine did come in, shot Gary, and, and now telling uh, the adulterous lawyer to beg for her life? How did I miss the last episode? Oh, that's right. It's sisters and it's terrible. Well, you know what? I'm caught up. No love lost. Lord, so she go to the bathroom to check on her hopefully soon to be dead husband because I'm sick of his dry acting. But Andy get up and try to wrestle the gun from her and then they fall on the bed and we cut to a theme song show. So then she's able to get up with the woman holding a gun on her and then hits her in the head with the laptop and knocks her out. Oh, this is terrible writing. Terrible tie tie. She opens the door, the popo already there. Back at the bank, Heffa, I guess she hooking up with the teller because he there knew. Child, she tell him, look, you got to go and I'll see you at work. He upset. So I guess she's going back to Pantyman. Oh, God. I am so sick of this I refuse to let myself be happy airport heifer and the man that she treats like crap. So she keeps getting a call while she in the tub ignoring it. And Rodeo Boy is like, you better answer it. And she's like, why? It's going to be nothing but drama. And she right, it's Sabrina. So Calvin came by and saw Jacob naked. I'm sure he wanted to get down on it. The airline heifer said, look, uh, you breathing? All right, I'll call you tomorrow, girl. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. We back with Andy and the police refuse to tell her if he's okay. We have a few questions. I ain't answering shit unless I know somebody ain't dead in my bathroom. Where's the ambulance? He gonna ask her, were you having an affair? What are you doing? Why are the police such hacks? Wait, now medics are with him? When did that happen? Oh, this, this writing. But now Zach dropping by Karen's for what? I almost wish I had seen what I, I thought I had seen the season finale. I didn't know there's like this missing episode. So Zach dropped by and give her five grand. He said, look, I'm gonna give you this money, but I still ain't do it, but I can give it to you because I can give it to you. And she looking real sheepy because she has to fess up that she got proof from the bank that it wasn't him. And he's like, oh, that's what it took, proof from the bank. You really don't know me. Oh, God, he said, I owe you $77,000 for all the free rent, food, and everything else. When did he get good at math? Child, that um, goes to show just how much money we throw away on relationships. <laughs> now, Karen wants to know how long he's been with Fatima since the airplane heifer has been telling her how much he's been talking about her. He said, I don't owe you no explanations. Yeah, we was just bumping uglies, but that was some goodbye sex. That was that hit it one last time. So Danny finally called the Braxton Hybrid. That's what I used to call her. I forget my nicknames when the season ends. So the Braxton Hybrid calls the bank half the back and she says, girl, I got a man, what is it? And the Braxton Hybrid tells her, you need to let it go because you keep doing this to yourself. Oh Lord, but now Zach get home to Fatima the Stallions. And she's like, who is coming through my door? Fatima said, oh, I, I left your stuff right there. Just put your key on the table. So Fatima mad that he fucked Karen and she's like, you could have just told me instead of acting all weird. God, all these guys, come on, don't do that. She's like, I ain't gonna kick you out the program because we didn't work out. Like, keep the car and everything. I still want you to succeed. We just didn't work out. I love the maturity. So Fatima then got some 20, some 22 inch weed. Them legs is on point though. She never miss a leg day. But she got a whole new man at the door. So in this world, does the vi, vi just not happen? So Zach's like, so this is what we doing? She said, well, what do it look like? Get to stepping. So Zach get on and she go out with her new man. Meanwhile, across town, the panty man sashays into Chateau Sissy. So now he mad at the big bone sissy for telling the bank heifer that he was in there with some dude. Oh, so now he telling him he caught the bank heifer with neck tattoo naked in her house. The one you weren't invited to? Okay. So now he says, well, you know, it takes a minute for Sabrina to make a decision. She ain't been in a relationship for a minute. So now he heading back to Sabrina's. Like, literally, you just saw another naked man over there. You can't help running back to try to get another eye full. Meanwhile, Karen trying to get a hold of the adulterous lawyer. Oh, God, but now the preacher man dropped by, and he drunk as a skunk. Oh, 
He said, I, I don't want any coffee. I want you. So now you drunk and ready to fuck. Child, he is drunk in his boxes. Don't say no. So he don't get no push. She's like, just talk to me. He gonna say, I'm sorry I made you have sex with somebody else. Honey, you weren't even invited. But maybe if you had been dicking her down right, she might not have been, you know, thrown by Zach. So the big bone sissy calls the bank heifer and says the panty man's on his way. So she's like, okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. Gossip. Then we cross town to Fatima the Stallion. So she's trying to get rid of her date and he's trying to make himself a little more comfortable. He is not getting the curve, but he's like, all right, I'm gonna call you in a week. Why do I feel like Zach gonna pop out of bedroom? Oh no, Zach isn't in a bedroom. She calls him. What's this money? He said, well, where's your date? So she tell him, look, I'm going to tape it to the door in an envelope. You come get this money or somebody else is going to steal it. And he trying to get back with her. And he like, look, haven't you ever been confused? It's my ex. We got history. This wasn't planned. It was an innocent fuck. I don't know what to tell Fatima. I don't know what to tell her. So Sabrina comes out her bedroom. Jacoby is dressed, but still there. And she's like, my panty man is on his way. Oh my God. Yes, she wants you to leave. Get out. God. And so she's trying to usher him out right as the panty man raises his hand to knock. Mm, mm, mm. How indelicate an entanglement. Oh, Calvin said, you need to get the fuck out of here. Mm, somebody's thong is riding up. Somebody's panties gave a pinch. Somebody's bustier is digging. <laughs> oh my God. So he's like, okay, and he bump him on his way out. Sabrina, sit down. I'm talking. <laughs> oh Lord. Use your vibrator voice, sir. Use your vibrator voice. He trying to give us a candy burst. Every man was a woman. I just want to be done with your ass. <laughs> but you just can't quit her, can you? Calvin, I'll tell you why she keeps treating you like this, because you keep putting up with it. You're more than willing to go back for more. You're like the Sarah Jessica Parker and she's the big. Oh God, now she gonna say, I was told you were on meth. And you heard it third hand. You shouldn't be working in anybody's bank. Girl, you giving a Sherry Shepherd tea right now. Is the world flat? So you didn't scared her dick off and now you're done? You just had to cock block her one last time. You fucked up. Mm, mm, mm. You could have told her that, you know, at the bank. You could have wrote that in a four page letter, Mr. Emotional, and sent her vibrator back. But now Zach's knocking on Fatima's door. She says, okay, come on in. You got five minutes. So he's still on his, have you ever been confused? Okay, okay, I've been confused. So he trying to get back with her and she like, look, you gotta go. I just need to think about it and take the truck alarm. Child, so we end in the episode back in Andy's, Jasmine getting hauled off screaming, this ain't over. And we end wondering what happened with Gary, but I bet you he snuck and somehow put blanks in her gun and was playing dead in the bathroom. <laughs> or they've patched him up and he's sitting on the bed. Well, that was the show.